Well, this is uh, Alex in Bosnia and Bill's garage. I broke in um, and uh, so that I could uh, steal this lock back from him. This is the that Chinese dimple lock, um, which he humiliated with some type of impressioning tool. Um, but what I had asked him to do was to take it apart because I thought he would find the innards very amusing. Um, and since I'm here, we're going to go over to his milling machine or some godforsaken uh, power tool in here and uh, show you what's inside this piece of Chinese engineering magnificence. Adjusting the CNC controls. Daring climb cut. There we go. Stand by. So we can see here, Bill is taping one side so that if it explodes on us, we have another chance. Got a backup plan. Got a backup, backup plan on this incredibly valuable cylinder. You can see the little fins, which I can only assume are to cool the lock as you open it very rapidly. It has liquid coolant. Right. I, I disconnected it, all of that. Well, we saw the smoke coming out, didn't we? Yeah, there's we? an nitrogen tank Did you, there. Yeah. You disconnected both ends, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, we don't want the radiator blowing up on us. All right, but, uh, All right, so he's going to now come in with his um, a, a precision lock opening tool. I believe it's a craftsman, and open that up. There we go. Revealing more of the plug. Mm. Now, don't worry. That, that, what, that what looks like a hardened steel cam is not. It's, oh, there it is. Oh, beautiful. That's titanium. That was titanium, yeah. 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 That was titanium. From the aircraft industry. We had to get a special carbide bit to cut through this thing. This is not a normal screwdriver. I mean, no. I know it says grip on it, it but says it's grip. really, that's, that's, that's a one of a kind. It's yeah, a, it's, it's a unique, really referring yeah. to what Bill usually uses that hand right. for. But It yeah. tells me this is where your grip goes. Exactly. See, someone holds it the wrong way. It doesn't work right. Oh, this is hilarious. They're, they're going to want all the videos to be like this now. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. There we, we go. got some pins. Check it out. It has pins. Check out the quality of that core. Oh my god. Look, look at, at that. that. And we now you see. Check all the pins are there. Yeah, all the pins are there. Now check it out. You see the Chinese are ecologically friendly. They don't want to use more metal than they have to to save the pigeons and the Yeah, we've got some springs. The springs I bet are made of steel. Those are good springs. I'm going to reuse those. Those are a, good springs. In a farmer free But you can see they've, they've, they, in their, in their incredibly high precision casting procedure, which they used to make this, they didn't bother putting metal in this area here. Oops. They didn't bother putting metal in this area here. And so, thereby saving metal so they could make more crap locks to send us. And those are spools. These are cast spools. Check cast it out. spools. These are not even machined. Look at those cast spools. There's probably a seam on them somewhere, if you look closely. Probably is. Oh, there. I think you can see it on that. Well, I don't know. Macro's not functioning for me. Oh, that, actually, that looks pretty good. I don't know if we can see a seam or not, but... Well, let's bust open the top. I'm let's curious. open it up. Yeah. But that's why it was so hard to pick, because you got all those spools in there, and they're... Yeah, those pins, I think, were all normal, except they're obviously cut from a piece of wire. Oh, no, these are stolen out of a quick set. Yeah. No, quick set doesn't, make, quick set. Quick set doesn't sure. make quality pins like that. Look at that. It's almost serrated. Look at the, the dent in it. That, that's a dent, yeah. Is that from you picking it? It must be from my carelessness. All the gouges are not from the pliers they right. used to insert it in here. It's probably no. from my machining carelessness. This this uh, plug is just, it's a work of art, really. I mean... Let me see if I can pull that out of there. I think you can get it out. We're going to have to edit the fuck out of this thing. I'm going to have to use a little... Now, I tried... I use tools. I tried... Like oh. I tried opening one of these the conventional way, where you turn the cylinder a little bit and then... Yeah, and that, and I ended up using a much larger hammer because the pins got stuck down in there. That's aluminum. It, no, I don't even think it's aluminum. 
I don't even think they bothered with that. It's like melted. Do you have a torch? It's, it's like gum wrappers that have been melted in. It is. Here. It is. It looks like I brass, but it's torch. not. Do you have a fact, torch? I do have a torch. I would. Set it right here. Why don't we see if yeah. it melts? Let's, yeah. Oh, it'll melt. Trust me. This thing, I was thinking, well, maybe I could recycle it. You can. Look at how easy and it melts. Watch it go. Try not to burn the camera. There it goes. And in just a it, second, it's going to collapse into a pile of goo. This is made out of solder. I think it's made out of a zinc alloy, that's what I'm thinking. Really? Now, this is why, Commando, this is why you don't want to make your actuator out of a zinc alloy. Because we will do this to it. Look at it, look at it poof up. It's foaming. It'll, you can see how little metal they use. Isn't that yeah. brilliant? You I think that's aluminum? It must, it must. We put some pins on there too. Why not? I mean, aluminum. I want to film that. The pins gonna. It is a piece. It's a pepperoni Chinese lock pizza. My God, I think they use quality products in those pins. They may be real brass. I think they are. Look at them. They're turning red. Are really? they? From embarrassment. They are turning. Oh, they're turning. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Now that's your deep cherry red, guys. If you're uh, if you're heat treating. I don't want to anneal yeah. my vice. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to anneal the vice. You can hear it sizzling. That's amazing. That is made from gum wrappers. <laughs> Isn't that a piece of crap? No, now, no wonder it's so hard now, for me to fix. Now, the pick. frightening thing about this lock is I bought this lock from some guy in Germany, and it said Germany on the front. It did say made in China on the back, but I thought I was getting a, a German lock, and right. as you can see, I got a pile of goo. Adrian sold me the same lock. You think it was Adrian? I'm pretty sure. Dice Man. Thir was it 1397? 1367. 1367? Yeah, you've got quite a racket going here. This is... German high security at its best. Well, there you go, right people. There. It's uh, picked, taken care of. Everybody stay safe and uh, stay legal. Yep. And have fun. Oh, yeah. Fun. Yes. Let's have fun, too. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. And just so you can get a close-up view of the mayhem on the other side of the lock. This is before you melt the core. No, actually, we took the core out, didn't we? Where's the mm -hmm. core? Oh, it's over there. You can see those beautifully cast top pins and the misformed mouse shape. And, and check out the quality of the machining or not I'm thinking of those holes. Look at those holes. Let's melt the body. I Do you think you can melt the body? I, I don't you, know. Let's find out. You might need a settlement. In the continuing saga of the Chinese dimple lock, German Chinese dimple lock. Thank you, Adrian. Thanks, Adrian. We're going to try to destroy the uh, body of the lock. The cake, the cork, no, the, uh, the shell. The shell, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think we're going to be rough on that. It's, it broke, my map torch wouldn't do much to this either. It'll get red hot. Yeah. I don't know what it's made out of, but it, it's not brass and it's not um, steel. But it's definitely crap. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, okay, yeah. We should check it for Burnell resistance. Hardness. Burnell hardness. Oh yeah, that's pretty hard. That's good that's, stuff. That's, I mean... Notice the color of the dust here. It tells you this whole thing is pot metal. That's right. It's not... It's Steel not would not make black a, dust like well, look, this. it has a quality brass finish. It does have that. a finish, so they've plated it with something that appears went, to be They brass. went to the trouble. They did. I mean, it looks nice in the plastic packet, but you can see that just a few strokes from a pack saw only cut into that, what? Well, you know, a third of an inch, maybe. Come on, we need to be fair. Adrian only charged us a hundred euros for these locks each. Oh, no, it was. I got it. Just it was nineteen. It was ninety nine ninety nine. Oh well, I had. You're off by one euro cent. Yeah. Oh, the shipping. I had to oh. shipping. That's the killer. And the shipping. Adrian really puts it to you on shipping. Yeah, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. But anyway, you know what can you expect for a hundred euros? That's only like what? I, I'm not good at math. That's it's like three, 150 three bucks, bucks, isn't it? It's three bucks, isn't it? Three. No, no, no. The bucks. euros. No, they're cheap out there. No, those are expensive. Yeah. No, no, no. Adrian ripped me off on the exchange Adrian. rate too. He d I did. Jeez, look and look at the just look at the look at the plug. Isn't that amazing? You ever seen anything like that? Look at that, they didn't even bother to put any metal down there. It's probably got a third of the metal of a normal core. I bet you could drill through that with like a 
one of those push hand drills. Is it still hot? No? No, that you didn't melt that one. Yeah. Alright. Get the clip off of there. Right. That's how you remove a circlip, people. You don't need Special plug, so. no, that is, no. Put that right there. Yeah. Just stand. Just give me one minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand back because this could be. Hang on, let me. Let me you got, do you have your safety glasses on? I have my safety glasses on. Here they are, right here. No, no, See, that's glasses. Right there. Right there. I just had this from Calvary. Oh yes. Bill just got this back from the the metrology department at NIST. Okay, let's give this so, a true Brunel hardness test. The true Brunel hardness test. Now ready? remember from, uh, uh, what, um, one third of a meter, right? That's right, one third. Okay, one third of a meter, yep, okay. Whoa! Now that, it's they over-hardened it, is well, what it meter, is. The meter shows 6.3. 6.3, that's, uh, what is chewing gum? Uh, 6.7. 6.7, okay. So, if you need a lock that is just slightly weaker than the average piece of chew, is that average chewing gum or is that? Uh, Wrigley's. Wrigley's, no, Wrigley's uh, Spearmint? It's a U.S. certification firm, yeah. U.S. certification, now, yeah. Now Germans, uh, who knows what they use. Uh, yeah, but they probably require it to be 6.5 or something, but yeah, if you need a lock whose plug is just slightly weaker than Wrigley's chewing gum, then this, this is, is the, the one. Go and for. Adrian has e them eBay. on sale today. Yeah, on eBay. 99.9 .9 euros. Yeah. You search for like, uh, what is, what is, uh, lot, what is your old cylinder? It's a uh, Profil Zylinder. Profil, in German. Profil Zylinder. Yeah. yeah, like he said in German. Uh, hit the hit eBay and um, Adrian will make some money so he can go buy some collector or Abus lock and you too can have this kind of security in your home. All right, thanks for your time, guys. Yep. See you later. Have fun. Thanks, Adrian. Keep it legal. Cheers.